Okay, so before we can set the logging interval, time constant, and run mode, we need to first turn the DRX on by pressing the power button. Once the dust track DRX is powered on, grab the stylus, the top left, and go to run mode. Once in run mode, make sure manual is selected at the top. If not, press this right little arrow to have a drop down list to select it. Test length, um, this is the amount of time the machine will run before turning itself off. So just make sure that anything a day or more should be sufficient because uh, unless of course you're going to be sampling for, for more than a day but more, more likely you won't. So for logging interval, chances are you're going to be using 10 seconds but you may use up to a minute but always consult with Professor Chaudhry before um, starting your data sampling so you know the correct um, time constant. But unless you're uh, going to be sampling for very long periods of time, um, 10 seconds should suffice. Time constant should be one second. And once you're all done with that, go ahead and press the main button. And you will see right here, run mode is manual, which is what you wanted, so that you can manually stop and start. You don't have to have it pre-programmed using the computer. And then the file is going to be what you, the name your file for your your session once you start and stop it. That's going to be um, what your file name is for for all your log data. Um, now, if you don't have this written down or remember, it's fine because when you retrieve the data you will be able to select the date and time of the data sampling which which you should have written down in your log you should always write that down in your log as well as take notes for the day um, you should have a dedicated note taker for um, writing down the times of uh, significant events like cars passing by or near a, a factory or something so that you can um, look back later to identify um, unusual um, increases in uh, pollution and that is how you select you set up the run mode the logging interval and the time constant thank you